In Craig City, leaders say that you can plow snow and sleep, but it's freezing rain that's tough to tackle. It creates a whole different monster when we're dealing with ice. Tim McCorkle with the city of Tulsa says salt struggles to melt ice when temperatures linger below freezing. If we get a real buildup on trees and such like that, then we'll have branches breaking that could fall in the roadways power lines that may go down. Each district in Tulsa County will prioritize pre-treating busy roads and bridges. County leaders say salt brine helps keep ice from sticking to roads and is typically used before temps dip below freezing. They say sand can be used to help with tire traction. Crews in Tulsa County, Tulsa and Sepulpa are ready to work 12 hour shifts. Don't encroach them. I mean, stay back behind them. If you don't have to go out, Please don't go out. Tulsa's brine truck crews come in around midnight to begin treating bridges, hills, and overpasses with brine solution. A lot of the time it's supposed to be in the 20s, so it will activate and help melt. And once the sun breaks, I mean, it'll clear off pretty quick. Tulsa has roughly 55 trucks running and 8,500 tons of salt. The city of Sepulpa has three plows, three trucks with salt spreaders, and about 500 tons of salt to treat city streets, bridges, and areas with essential workers. ODOT is responsible for the main highways that run through town, which is the majority of the four-lane highways through the city of Sepulpa. And experts want to remind folks to keep your faucets lightly dripping and to also turn those sprinkler systems to manual to keep excess water from rolling onto the roadway and causing ice. Live in Tulsa, Ashland Brothers, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.